in life moments come and go take a shot or you'll never know your heart will tell you when it's time to move ask yourself what you got to lose when sweet Face Joseph Allen first showed up at America's Got Talent, he did not waste a second winning over both viewers and the cast members of the show with his charisma and energy. The young rapper had already charmed host Terry Crews backstage, and with a single performance had Judge Howie Mandel award him the golden buzzer. Despite not having won the competition due to viewer votes, it was clear that Joseph had a bright future ahead of him. His energy and his determination to leave his mark on the world made him a pleasure to watch on screen, and even after his time on the show, it's evident that his drive to be known for something great continued far beyond the confines of the show. Joseph Allen had planned to take over the world when he left the show, so join us as we take a look at what really happened to Joseph Allen from America's Got Talent. Joseph Allen's story began the typical way. Born in 1998 in Texas, USA, Joseph lived with both his parents until they divorced and married different people. Since the rapper was fairly young when this happened, he grew up in a blended family as the youngest of 12 whole siblings in Killeen. When he was in elementary school, he tried to join a school chorus but was unable to because of his unique low voice, ironically enough. He was eventually let in though, marking the event as his first step into the world of music. Growing up, Joseph developed a taste for danger and started racing motorcycles after watching YouTube videos of the sport. Since it is such an extreme sport, he has apparently broken so many of his bones over the years that the ligaments and the bones themselves are held together by nine screws, a four-inch titanium plate, four internal nylon ropes, two metal anchors, and more. We suppose that's what you get when you jump over a hundred feet on your motorcycle, something Joseph has actually done. Because of the extreme nature of the sport, Joseph's mother asked him to direct that ambition and dedication to something else that's not as volatile to his health as motorcycling, perhaps something like getting a college education. And fate definitely works in mysterious ways. As Joseph would be the first to tell you, since majoring in digital production at Grand Canyon University in Phoenix, Arizona, was where he discovered his passion and talent for music and songwriting. Knowing what we know about his talent now, it isn't surprising that he was soon creating original music that the students at his university were actually interested in. But unfortunately, it isn't enough to be talented in today's day and age, especially in the music industry, and Joseph had to work tirelessly as a certified tire technician to save up $5,000 to build his own recording studio in his dorm room. Here, self-reliant as ever, Joseph spent days and nights working endlessly learning how to produce music, play instruments, and mix his own music professionally. His first song was actually written about his mother and posted on Facebook, from where he started gaining more and more recognition as an artist worth listening to, not just at his university. He once said that he sees himself as someone who can make a major impact in the world and just wants to leave his mark on the world, a sentiment echoed in his music very often. And if his audition at America's Got Talent Season 14 is any indication, it's very likely that he probably will. Before we talk about what exactly Joseph Allen has done to ensure his legacy, let's briefly discuss his time on America's Got Talent. More appropriately, what made his audition special? More than the stunning and viral performance of his original song Footprint, which has accumulated over 56 million views and Howie's Golden Buzzer, it is Joseph's ultimatum to Terry Crews that made him an instant fan favorite. After the audition, as requested by Joseph, Terry Crews happily picked up this grown man in his arms, dirty dancing style, and twirled him around the stage after the judge's comments. He later discusses the backstage ultimatum, claiming that somehow he must have known that he'd get the golden buzzer from one of the judges, and how Terry picking him up was a dream come true. Later, he also reflected on the strangeness of the situation and claimed that he was grateful to Howie because the golden buzzer allowed him to be known as the guy who got picked up by Terry Crews. A rare feat. While his audition was a roaring success, the 2019 season of the show just wasn't ready for him, and the young rapper could not make it past the quarterfinals, where he performed another original song of his, Mama. Despite getting a standing ovation on the performance by judges Howie Mandel and Gabrielle Union, Joseph just wasn't able to get enough votes to stay in the competition, so he was eliminated. In an interview after the show, Joseph spoke of his experience with the introspectivity he adopts in his day-to-day -day life. He talked about the history of the stage and how he was blessed to have gotten even the chance to perform on America's Got Talent in the first place. 
Joseph's been dedicated to uploading new and original music to his YouTube channel ever since its creation in 2015, which now has an impressive 5 million views. In fact, he uploaded his first album online in 2016 titled The College Lifestyle, and his second was released a few months before he auditioned for America's Got Talent in 2018, a testament to his popularity from before his time on the show. In a video on his Instagram, Joseph revealed that he was approached by many record labels after his elimination, but he turned all of them down because he did not want to let short-term profit blind him and wanted to wait for long-term financial blessings. It's worth noting that Joseph spent close to no time even during America's Got Talent to relax, and instead was even dropping music whilst on the show. He dropped a music video to one of his songs, Chemistry, before the live shows, the video which currently has around 230,000 views. But after the show, it felt as though he allowed himself to make more freedom content, and uploaded videos on YouTube where he shared details and updates about his personal life and did Q&As to appease his new fans, all while promoting his existing music. Of course, we're talking about Joseph here, and it did not take him long to get back to his roots, albeit in a less rigid manner. He shared the music video to his song, Ring by Spring, which was actually produced as a college project with zero dollars as its budget. His hit song from his audition, Footprints, was also released in October of the same year, and that led to a chain of him dropping new music every Friday. In February 2020, he was also invited to speak with Aurora High School students at the Striv Winter Summit, and it seemed like he'd keep up with this until his new album was ready. It was announced in early 2020 that the ex-AGT contestant would be joining MTV's The Challengers. Going in, Joseph was one of the game's youngest rookies, but from the get-go, made it clear that he was strong enough to handle whatever the show threw at him. His background in motor racing as well as his determination were characteristics many thought would help him stay in the game longer. But as it stands, Joseph was eliminated against opponent Kyle Christie in episode 2. Of course, Joseph was quick to admit that he didn't actually think he had a shot at winning, especially compared to everyone else who was much more experienced at the game. He also revealed that he didn't actually know much about the show before going on it. When asked about what he learned on the show, he said that he was much stronger now, and if given the chance, would happily exact vengeance by coming back on the show. When Joseph finally dropped his album with a hefty 22 tracks, footprints independently, people were excited to support him. Even his past co-stars got into it and publicly supported the up-and-coming artist on their social media accounts. His music video for Blue Collar Baby premiered on December 18, 2020 on his YouTube page. The album contained both new songs and ones he's performed before, and soon he was off on a tour performing his music. Apart from his music, Alan also made a difference by giving back to the community. Last December, he started to go fund me to help feed homeless folks in Austin, Texas. With the incredible support of generous donors, he was able to hand out slices of pizza to those in need. In 2022, Joseph released his EP, Can't Believe My Ears, and his singles from what seems to be the same era titled Stick Up, In The Safe, and Man With A Plan. Today, he focuses on his music and uploads motivational and spiritually-centric videos on his YouTube channel. In one of his recent videos, Joseph talked about his time on AGT and how he manifested the golden buzzer that he got. He also gave a little more insight about his audition and how it was actually delayed because of an injury on the show. He believes that that was fate's way of giving him the support of all the students from his university that were coincidentally present at his audition. His videos are mainly about spirituality and faith and in some cases might even be described as motivational buzz videos. In 2023, it seems as though Joseph's making space for other passions in his life as well. And while he does still devote his time and energy to music, he also focuses on his relationship with his other interests, like motorcar racing and traveling the world.